tonight we're going to take a little ride on the Vespa. We're going to be cruising through Norristown tonight. Don't ask me why. The gear for tonight is the Cortec Fusion Jacket, full armor, obviously the insulated vest is zippered out. The Harbor Freight Amber Glasses, they're anti-scratch. I really like these a lot. I don't know if you've ever gotten these before. They were $1.99 and they're amazing. If they break, you can chuck them. But the one thing that I like about them is that the temples lay flat on your uh, on your face. The helmet for the night is the showy three-quarter classic helmet. I've had this for a while. I love this helmet. I probably will replace it. I won't be um, doing any recording tonight as far as uh, microphone because there's no place to put the microphone. So it's, I'm probably just going to narrate, I think. I'm not sure yet. And then, of course, the Tourmaster deerskin gloves that are my favorite. They're very soft. Take a ride with me, and let's have a little talk. audio with this. I don't have the microphone in. I'm not wearing the full face helmet. So you might be getting a lot of wind. This is my second moto vlog driving through Norristown. Of course now the Holy Savior feast is going on right now. Which is the Italian feast. And I used to go to the Mount Carmel, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Feast. Now I don't uh, because they closed up, that parish closed. Holy Saviors in Norristown, a lot of old Italian families are here enjoying this whole weekend. It's a tradition that's been going on for, oh gosh, I forget how many years. Coming from the Italian dominant family, going to the feasts was something that we always did. And most of the larger parishes, the churches, do have an annual feast to celebrate, to fundraise. People getting get you know they get together. It's a community event. A lot of people do their moto vlogging, country roads, twisty, turny roads. <laughs> Rarely do you see a lot of city action. But this is where I'm driving tonight. Norristown is a very historical city in the suburbs of Philadelphia. There's so many historical spots that are ignored here. There's a, a Civil War cemetery here. Uh, there's a lot of Revolutionary War. Uh, very significant areas. George Washington crossed the Schuylkill River here. We are just over the river from Valley Forge, so it was a very strategic area in the Revolutionary War and America's fight for freedom in the 1700s.
And so much of this town is uh, thrown under the bus only because it's run down, there's a lot of crime, it's got some areas that are just very, you just don't want to be walking or driving through them in the middle of the night. Not unlike most big cities. Oh, good. This gives me a chance to talk now. So, a very historical area, and I'm kind of a, a cemetery freak as far as the historicity of cemeteries. Um, I'll give you a tour, not tonight, but uh, sometime in the future of a Civil War cemetery. There's a lot of Revolutionary War and Civil War officers buried there, including a couple governors of Pennsylvania. And when I went to it, the grass was three foot tall. I mean, none of it was so historical. None of it was being taken care of. And it's just such a beautiful area. It's really... Um, but it's it's got its challenges. It's urban challenges, I shall say. I hope you enjoyed the little ride that we had tonight. I didn't have the microphone set up like I did the first time I did it because the microphone would normally be inside of a full face helmet and obviously you would hear nothing but wind if I put on the microphone like right here. But it's a great night tonight. It was 93 yesterday going down to 62 tonight, so it's a nice cool night for a ride. And as I'm kind of heading west outside of Philadelphia, I know there's more deer and critters, so I have to be a little more careful and be very alert for wildlife. Hey, thanks for joining me. Let's do it again sometime. Thanks.